I do not own the rights to this song. It's Friday, y'all. It's Friday. It's another Car Chronicle. I'm back with another Car Chronicle. Hey, yo, look. Check this out real quick. Just want to share something real fast. Hey, it's Friday. You might be single. Newly single, just broke up, got a divorce, all by yourself, kind of feeling lonely. The weather's getting warm out, everybody's dressing less, looking fine and everything. Coming from the barber shop to beauty salon, okay, let's stop playing. <laughs> but for real, hey, don't fall for the bait. Don't drink at the Kool-Aid, okay? Don't drink at the Kool-Aid. Ooh, what do I mean by that? Well, I'm glad you asked. Just because he's saying, baby, I miss you, baby, you look good, baby, I want to take you out to dinner, buy you a nice something, an outfit, let me take you on a weekend vacation, let me take you blase and so on and so forth. Don't go for it just because you're lonely, you have nothing else to do but to go on a date because you're alone now. No, sweetheart, this is your time to stay alone by yourself and heal. You know, you can be alone and not be lonely. There's a difference. The same way there's a difference between your wants and your needs. God is going to give you what you need over what you want. Praise God that when the more time you spend with the Lord, your desires become more His desires because, you know, you spend more time with Him. So you begin to have different thoughts and different things. You know, you just begin to have different views on things. So in, in essence, His desires become your desires. Praise God. So I wanted to say this because... Same with you brothers. Look, let's keep it real. Just because you want a, a, a little bedroom time or or you kind of been by yourself with Johnson & Johnson a lot. Hey, I'm going to keep it real, okay? Don't fall for it. Don't eat of the fruit of that tree, bruh. It's not your tree to eat of. Do not partake. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Because you don't know nothing about that woman. You don't know nothing about what she's about, really. You just think she looks good in her outfit. And she's got this sitting up right and that standing out right. So she looks good to your visuals. The same way the, the devil tests you. He tests you and he'll tempt you by the lust of your eyes, the lust of your flesh, and the pride of life. So just remember this. Tonight is Friday. And it's Juneteenth. So praise God. You know what I'm saying? I pray that y'all are out here having fun, enjoying life, being thankful for having life today. Nobody is sick and dying right now. We have life in our lungs. We're alive. But don't let this be a reason for you to go out, kick it, get drunk, get loaded, and go home with somebody who you're going to regret the next day being with. It's not worth it. The temporary pleasures of sin are temporary. And look, I'm not here to point fingers like I never did it because I have. This is why I'm telling you don't do it. Look, I learned from my mistakes because I'm not going back. But learn from my mistakes. Let me be the one to tell you. It's not worth it, brother. It's not worth it, sis. It's not worth it. Because you are deserving of real love. You are deserving of a true love. Someone who you can call your husband or wife. So don't settle for less just because you're lonely. Don't settle for a piece of something when you can have the whole real deal. You can have the real deal. Wait on God. Right? The Bible says, be anxious for nothing, but with prayer, supplication, and thanksgiving, let your requests be known unto God. Right? And God will give you the peace that surpasses all understanding if you wait on Him. Keep your eyes to the hill from where your help comes from. Keep pressing your way into the mark of the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus. Stop falling short for the things that are just temporary. It's a trick, y'all. It's a trap from the enemy. The same way the devil deceived Ad or Eve. The same way the devil deceived Eve. That's what he's trying to do with you tonight. And this weekend. And next weekend. And Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. He don't sleep. You know the Bible says the devil is going to and fro seeking those who can devour, right? Seeking those who he can devour. So what do you think he's doing? Praying on your weaknesses. Watching your weaknesses. And he's waiting for you to fall off so he can just come in at the time that you're weak and corrupt you, deceive you, play on your emotions, play on your weaknesses, 
and then the next day you're gonna wake up and feel guilty. Then you're gonna then you're gonna hear the devil condemn you. Ah, uh, see what you did now? Calling yourself a believer, calling yourself a righteous man or a woman of God. See what you did? You don't love God. If you love God, why? Oh, you gonna repent now? You're gonna repent, but you're gonna do it again. See, might as well just not even repent. You might as well just go do it again. This is the kind of stuff the devil does, man. Y'all pay attention to the cycles. Pay attention to the, the times of um, the season you're in. If you're single again, praise God. You need to be single and let God work on you so he can bring you your spouse. The boss is let every husband have his own wife and every wife have her own husband. Why do you think he wants you to have less than? He doesn't. He wants you to be married. He wants you to have a covenant. A, 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 a covenant between a husband and a wife in God. Him be the third core that is not easily broken. But, but y'all are giving up husband and wife benefits before you're married. And that's why you can't shake him, sis, brother. You cannot shake them because you have a soul tie. And then that soul tie becomes an infection. You get tied up with that, with that parasite or that leech or that vampire. And then they leave aftermath of an infection. So now you're infected. Because you have been hurt, broken down, and ridiculed. You've been through so much to this person. Now you're wounded, broken, hurt. And now you can't trust nobody. And now every person that you're with after that last one has left a residue because of the infection that that person has given you. Because they were not your husband or your wife. And it left you with a soul tie and a soul infection. Praise God. Look, I just hope that this message helps you. I hope that y'all are encouraged by this message. I hope you know that you are worth waiting for. You are worth love, true love, the love of Christ. You are worth a real relationship with God. You are worth waiting for. And sisters, brothers, if a man or woman is going to ask you to sin, they're condoning sin before any time now later in life if they're going to ask you to sin with them they're not from God let me just re re replay that back right, back right, right if they are causing you to sin they are not from God any person any any believer that's born again they're going to be more concerned about your soul salvation and they're going to love you so much they're going to encourage you to live righteous before God and they also know that they're accountable for what they did with you Therefore, we are not going to cause you to slip up. And if a person is causing you to slip up, sis, bruh, they're not from God. You better know who that enemy is that you're sitting next to, that you're going to the movies and eating popcorn with, going to their houses on Sundays, having dinner with in church. Just because y'all go to church together does not mean they're from God. Let me, re let me remind you. Oh, yeah, the devil's heavy in church. Why wouldn't he be? That's where he knows a lot of people who want to get close to God are there. Why wouldn't he? Why would he not go and be on his enemy's territory? Come on, man. The devil's heavy up in church. I'm telling y'all, do not settle. Look, I'm, I'm seeing it on social media. People breaking up, making up, breaking up just to make up. No, sis. No, bro. That is a distraction from the enemy. He wants you to be entangled into a love triangle, into a love deception, a love freaking connection but it's not love it's lust and you think you're actually in love but you're in lust and you're so deceived by your lust that you cannot break free or break away from this person the truth is because you've been deceived and the devil is using this person in your life to keep you bound in sin who the son says free is free indeed right therefore there there's now therefore no common condemnation Come on, Jesus. There's therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. So that means you've been set free. You've been made free. There's no more any yokes of bondage that's entangling you because God, he came and he made you free through Jesus. Therefore, you don't have no reason to be out here sinning and living like the rest of them, living like you used to because God has made you free. Who the Son sets free is free indeed. So you have no excuse to be out here slipping and dipping, just living any kind of way. No, it's time to change all that up and give it over to Jesus. So I'm telling y'all this. I love you. Pray for me as I pray for you. There's another Car Chronicles. Look, it's the weekend. Hey, get with some brothers and sisters and have some good old-fashioned fun. 
and let's go out here and win these souls for the kingdom. Hallelujah. I'm going to holler back. Share this with someone who needs to hear this. You're worth being loved. It's Car Chronicles. Car Chronicles.